Welcome to this uh, Windows channel and today was Patch Tuesday, the second Tuesday of the month of April. So it's security update time for uh, different Microsoft products including Windows and uh, Office. If you count Windows and Office patches this month, 66 security fixes. Um, none of them critical or zero day, if we would say, which means none of them are as bad that you know bad guys are already using them. But still, a lot of uh, fixes in there. So there's a fix for Adobe Flash Player once again, a free security update for that. There are several fixes for Internet Explorer with um, memory corruption vulnerability. Um, that that happens in, in more than one. It's like it's um, several of these in um, Explorer and also Microsoft Edge, Microsoft Edge information disclosure uh, flaw, Microsoft devices wireless keyboard uh, 850 security feature can be bypassed, Microsoft graphics component uh, with remote code execution possibilities, uh, Microsoft Jet database engine. They have a remote code execution also. That means, you know, if somebody could get an access from uh, outside, they could technically have pretty much um, all the, um, you know, use your PC and do pretty much what they want with it. Uh, Microsoft Malware Protection Engine also was uh, fixed. Microsoft Office has several uh, fixes also. Microsoft Scripting Engine has information disclosure flaw. It means that somebody could, if they had access, get more information than they should um, within your PC. There's, um, of course, memory corruption flaw in it also. In Windows itself, the SNMP uh, service denial or service flaw. There's device guard security that uh, had a flaw that could make it a bypass, if you want, I-Pro-V. Information Disclosure, Visual Studio Information Disclosure, uh, Windows Kernel had several fixes with uh, Information Disclosure, uh, Open Time, Fund Driver, Elevation of Privilege Possibilities, meaning somebody that would have access to that flaw can uh, take a standard user and just you know change it to an administrative user and do what he wants. Uh, lots of disclosure vulnerability in the Windows Kernel itself, and finally, uh, Windows Remote Desktop Protocol, the RDP Denial of Service flaw. So all of that is fixed in here. 66 independent security holes, but none of them uh, zero day. So none of them are urgent, urgent. But of course, you know, you don't want to have 66 security flaws uh, total in your machine. That's if you use Office because uh, Office has a certain number. If you remove Office... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, you know, 13 in Office. So you go from 66 to 53 for Windows itself. So that uh, gives you an idea of uh, a lot of little flaws here and there that are fixed. And if you're on the uh, Insider Preview um, in the um, Fast Ring, Slow Ring, and um, the uh, Release Preview, Insiders uh, got a, a cumulative update. And it does fix one security flaw for Microsoft Edge. So in uh, the different versions, well, uh, 16.299.371 is where you should be in the latest version of the Fall Careers Update. 15.063.1029 for the Creators Update. And very important, today is end of support of version 16.07. If you're at the anniversary update, you need to, um, is that the anniversary update? I always get mixed. Yeah, that's the anniversary update. So, uh, okay, uh, anniversary update, end of support. That means that now there won't be any more security updates. If you want to have them, you got to move on either to the um, creator's update, 15063, or the fall creator's update, 16299, uh, in order to uh, continue getting support. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.